Professional grade sharpening steels have an oval shape. The shape provides more surface area for efficient sharpening and allows pro chefs to hone their blades frequently as they work. The manufacturing process begins with a machine that quickly cuts rods of oval steel. From handle to tip, the finished sharpening steel will be 12 and a half inches. A custom-made lathe grips the rods and guides them inside a cutting area. The lathe rounds off one end to fit inside the handle. It sprays the steel with cooling liquid to prevent overheating during the cutting process. Next, they use a device called a drawing machine. Ultra-fine teeth scrape the steel to create an abrasive sharpening surface. The grain of the abrasions runs parallel to the length of the steel. The steel is still soft enough for a stamping machine to punch in the company logo. In an oven, they heat the steel rods to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, a machine dips the rods in a pool of salt water to harden them. The sharpening steel is now 20% harder than the average kitchen knife. A worker dips the components in a series of baths to clean them. Next, a machine with multiple nozzles blasts sand onto the sharpening steels. The sand cleans off the residue left over from the production process and prepares the steel for chrome plating. The chrome plating protects the surface from rust. An enormous industrial strength dishwasher cleans the sharpening steels. Then, workers conduct a quality control inspection of the abrasive sharpening surfaces. The sharpening steels have been changed from their original oval shape. Using a set of high-speed, specially calibrated sanding belts, a pre-programmed robot smooths and shapes the steel. The final piece has a polished and rounded look. A grinding machine carefully tapers the metal to give the steel its sword-like shape. It takes more than 50 steps to create a sharpening steel. A machining tool drills and taps the rounded end of the sharpening steel. This creates a threaded hole for attaching a handle. The handle includes a section that folds down, allowing it to double as a hook. A worker applies glue and installs two rivets to hold the wood section of the handle in place. The wood handle is carved out of a 100-year-old oak wine barrel. A worker carefully sands the edges of the handle, ensuring a smooth grip. Another worker applies a protective coating of wax to the wood handle. A worker installs the third and final rivet. It bears the company's logo. They install this rivet last, so it's not damaged during the finishing process. After a final cleaning, the sharpening steels are ready to be packed up.